Hi and how are you all today? My name is Priyanka and the question says present date of father is 42 years and that of his son is 14 years. Find the ratio of firstly present age of father to the present age of son. Secondly, age of father to the age of son when son was 12 years old. C part. Age of father after 10 years to the age of son after 10 years. And finally, age of father to the age of son when father was 30 years old. So, this is a little long question. Let us write down the present ages of father and that of the son. Present age of father is 42 years and present age of son is 14 years. Right. Now for the first part we need to find out the present the ratio of present age of son or present age of father to the present age of son. So the required ratio is 42 is to 14. That can be written as dividing it by their HCF and that is 7. So, sorry the present age is, the HCF is 14. So, the answer is 3.1 that is 3 is to 1. Now, proceeding on to the B part, here the required Ratio is age of father to the son. Age of father is 42. And son when he was 12 years old. When son was 12 years old, that means 2 years ago, father will also be 42 and not, for it, he should be 40 and not 42. So let us. Divide these two by their HCF and here in this case the HCF is 4. So the answer comes out to be three upon, 10 upon 3 that is 10 is to 3. Proceeding on with the C part. Here the condition given to us is. We need to find out the required ratio age of father after 10 years. So after 10 years, right now he is 42 years old. So after 10 years he will be 52. So the son will also be 24 that is 14 plus 10. Dividing them by their HCF and the answer of HCF is again 4. So we have... 13 by 6 that can be written as 13 is to 6. And lastly, we need to find out the ratio age of the father to the age of son when father was 30 years old. That means 12 years ago. Right now the son is 14 years old, right? And before 12, that means 12 years ago, he will be, he would have been 2 years. That's it. So, dividing by their HCF, here the HCF finding is very easy. That will be 2. So, we have 15 over 1. That is 15 is to 1. So, these are the required answer. That is 3 is to 1 for the first case. 10 is to 3 for the second, 13 is to 6 and then 15 is to 1 for the last and final part. Hope you understood it well. 
Take care of your calculations and have a good day.